I already knew it was super steep, but seeing it live is, is quite impressive. Angliru is the top. It's our sky here in Asturias. In Spain, it's very, very famous. Every cyclist come to Oviedo is for uh, go to Angliru. I'm Roberto Eras, ex-professional cyclist. I won the Angliru in 2002. <laughs> okay, I'm a physical education teacher. I live in a village in the north of Spain. I'm Mattia Gafuri. I really like that feeling of going all out on a climb. After 22 years, it's a beautiful place. Eh? It's a special place. I think it's something that the human being always tries to like go over the top of mountains. My first time on Angliru. Yeah, I've seen it on TV many times. Angliru has two parts. The first one is very beautiful. I think the most important is uh, take the, your, your pace. The steep part is in, almost in, on, on the top. This is the problem, no? I raced uh, three times in competition. When I won there, it was special. It's uh, many, many people there. A lot of raining, uh, dramatic. <laughs> Matias was a poco... In this part, it was hard yesterday, yeah, with Matias. <laughs> In this part, I, yesterday, I, I suffered a little bit. The eh? hardest part of Angliru is La Cuña Les Cabres. You can really see far ahead, and you can see these like, long straights. Just brutal. When you go really full on, then you don't see basically anything around. You just look at maybe your front wheel or just the, the, the stretch of road ahead you really go into a, sort of another world. Often I like to climb with some music in my ears that really narrows the focus. But uh, it was like one pedal, another pedal, step by step. We say that Angliru is like hell because you suffer a lot, but it's hell and paradise too. We're arriving to the top, you started to see the sun and the clouds behind you. It can be any climb in any part of the world, but the feeling is always the same. You have that like 10 seconds of relief when you reach the top. That's the, the best part. That's why it all makes sense. 